Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dominion 6, where we are playing as McCoon. Um, this should be a pretty short turn, so I'll probably add it to another uh, recording. But uh, we had the beginning of the uh, attack on the helots uh, by the Ephoroi. Um, this happens once a year. Basically, the giants go around beating up and killing um, the various slaves that they have to remind them of the place. This is based on what the Spartans used to do to the majority of their own population. Um, very, very nasty stuff. Um, and they model it in game as a as a thing, and it really does hurt both the economy and the unrest of the city. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, our first giants come online. It looks like, and they have a water random path. That's good, because um, I want this this chap sight searching. So having having the water randoms is nice. Um, what I'm going to do is. These guys are going to go in, um, and then oh, it's a, mm, and then I'm going to have one of the efforts uh, go in. own unit of them. Uh, to basically support the uh, like main attack. Uh, and between between all these guys and this guy I should be able to overwhelm the Amazons this time. So let's punch in punch in. It does it does cut my research down, but right now uh, I, I need to do this. And I'm actually going to immediately ask the giant to start, search, start, start site searching. Um, it's a bit bad because it means I get less resources in the city, but this, this is a bit of a trap. Like, yes, 25 resources is nice, but you got to remember, one of my hoplites is 75. So... I'd rather have that this guy just immediately start exploring for me. Um, now the question is what to recruit uh, for the turn. And I think I'm going to just recruit another Elder Cyclops. It's expensive. Um, and I'm actually... Hmm, maybe a Basilius instead, actually. Yeah, No, uh, a Cyclops. Uh, I don't know, let's see how many I can get of the cheaper... Like this, yeah, yeah. If I get uh, five of these guys and one of the heavy ones, that's not bad. Uh, and some recruiting other cyclops, more more high level mages coming online, and then we should, should get the province. Um, I don't need mercenaries. Mm. 30 archers. It's not a lot, but it's not very expensive either. So you know what? Uh, I think I will actually go for it. Let's try and bid. Just whatever I can. Uh, that's probably too much. I don't know what the others are going to bid on it, but I don't want to spend too much. These are, these are neat, but they're hardly uh, something I require. Um, yeah. So, what else has happened? Spies down here, what's down here? Ooh, and the Zialban capital is just right above, uh, below, not above. Um, that is a bit distressing. I uh, don't know what I can do about it. I need to reach out to them and have a chat. Let's keep going this way. You keep sneaking that way. You sneaking over this way. Uh, yeah, uh, and that, that about does it. Um, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, 
have a good one or if I you know continue the video immediately um, you'll you'll know it uh, when I do so at any rate that's this turn done right let's see what the next turn looks like since I have made a decision to just film the next bit um, we had a battle in Royal Green let's see how that went please be good okay my chap is casting something have a chap blessed my general even though he is already blessed because he's a prophet that's a lot less cavalry coming in oh yes good good and the earth mill's helping as well that's breaking up the formation go on go on Oh yes, this is this is much better. Oh yes, oh, cook some conjured tree by the uh, chaps there. Hey, uh, and Right, well that went pretty well, and uh, yeah, the Cryptarian's underway, so as you can see, we've decided to uh, be terrible people. It's not good. But it will give us a very nice assassin later, which isn't really compensation, but, you know, something. Uh, and our Cyclops has moved out this way to start doing some gem, gem hunting. Mm. My spy can... ooh, hello. Interesting. And Mervonia over here. Okay, yeah, I have now much better appreciation for who's where near me. And that's good. So now I know Turninog is over here. Oh, that's... Mm, hmm... Yeah, let's keep scouting this way. I want to see exactly if they're like down here or if they're over here. Rarani, let's explore this direction. Saramasia's capital's here. Let's try and sort of explore past them. See who's see who's around. Um. Let's see. So my army is fine. Took no damage. Uh, and then I've got options of going into the other Amazon uh, team or going into here to try and block off the Marverni if they decide that they want to keep going up this way. Although if they do that, I'll just have to attack them because that's already pushing really into me. Like I'm. I'm feeling really constrained here. Like this, this constrains me and stuff. And uh, well, n not in the greatest position, but I'm going to go into Ogden Marks. Uh, I need my capital to be pa as powered up as possible, which means I need to connect another province. Because um, otherwise, I just can't produce enough giants to. Uh, to make things work. So, uh, let's see. And in the capital, I have a mage and six extra giants. I think it'll actually be worth me moving the mage out with the giants as reinforcements. How many can I make? Three, four, five. Five of these guys. And no. Uh, what about these guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there, again, I I don't want to be recruiting these guys for too long, but right now, every every giant body that's got armor is not bad. And then I can just get a whole bunch of. Uh, 
Yeah, I think that works. So let's get you guys with the uh, chap over here. And then you are to cast spells. go in here and then together that'll give me like 15 20-ish giants that that should overwhelm whatever's here um, and then I can use use like get my mages to come back and then use them to s the rest of the army to sort of take the rest of this stuff while an army builds here we got a uh, magic site astral gems very nice since I don't usually have astral mages this will give me like some initial astral gem income um, and I can recruit Amazons here now Amazons are interesting for a couple of reasons um, for one thing they obviously give me a holy nature and uh, water mage although the water is pretty, pretty rare uh, but they also give me a guaranteed water and nature mage with potential for death and earth um, extras which is very useful um, all these are paths I don't really have access to except for water and uh, earth but the death and nature is um, very good stuff particularly the nature um, nature too opens up some some very interesting things for me to do uh, Amazon troops themselves are not very good but um, the Jade Maidens are an interesting troop because they're a sacred cavalry unit um, that's got poison resist. Um, they're actually something that I could potentially play around with to uh, be saying with because my 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 bless is not great, but it isn't it isn't nothing. Um, you know, I do have poison resist, spirit sight, unaging. Uh, heroism, so they experience, get experience fast. It's not great, but spirit sight actually actually does mean that the cav would be good at countering certain things if I mass these guys. I see, uh, but I don't know. Uh, recruiting here, nothing's going on here. Um, I don't have to talk to the uh, Tiernanog player, see how far up they want to go. Um, I definitely want to sort of make sure that I can sort of do a line ish here, maybe. Um, I mean, if I could push here, that's great, but that's like that's above Xibalba's capital. I don't think they'd let me uh, just put a fortress on on the woods here. Um, yeah, I've got to start thinking about fortress locations um, for my other fortresses. I'll definitely want to put one here, but obviously taking this fortress is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, I'm kind of thinking if it's entirely possible, like maybe probably this is my best bet, um, or like the wood of many paths or scroll point. Uh, but I got to capture most of the stuff. Anyway, let's see what the mercenaries are. Oh my god. Um, okay. Shipwreckers. Uh, yes. These guys are amazing because, yes, they're technically a naval unit, um, but I'm going to be blunt. Um, if you can get shipwreckers, uh, get them. They're, they're extremely good at taking provinces and kicking ass and, and what have you. Uh, but do I, do I want to hire them in... Here, or do I want to hire them to actually start punching into these other provinces? Because they are good enough to do that. Mm. Basically, do I want them to start taking the sea for me, or do I want them to start? Um, like conquering this other stuff on land. Uh, I think actually, no, I'm going to actually recruit them here 
because yes, they're they're a naval unit, but um, none of the players are playing naval like nations like with people with a lot of people who can go out into the sea. I don't think. Um, whereas I need to like gather land as quick as. Um, so I'm gonna try and bid for them and hope that I manage. I'm a bit a lot. I I I do want these guys. Um, probably overspending, but oh well. Uh, and I guess that's it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, uh, and have a good one.